Hi friends, this is Big Blue Hat, and today I'm playing the first five minutes of Legend of Dungeon. This is another procedurally generated uh, multiple level randomness uh, sort of game. This one is a dungeon crawler of a kind, and uh, playing on a Surface Pro 2 with an Xbox 360 controller. Mind the rattler noise <laughs> part of the game. Um, flying eyeballs, uh, scary things in this game. We'll see what it's all about. We're going to not play impossible, play daily. I don't know what the difference is. We're going to go with play. And as it gets started, I guess it's generating stuff. And you start in the tavern. I believe this game was kickstartered, if I recall. So here go our five minutes. Uh, pulled down. Holding down. This is me. Apparently red hair. Best thing. Skirt and sword. Awesome. And all of these people were like he's a character designer. And who's this guy? The electricity. The music, of course. Which is awesome. Oh, I'm collecting stuff. Apples. Oh, that's Ah, I'm on fire. No. There is treasure on the twenty-sixth floor. I have never made it anywhere close to that. So B is jump, A is attack. X doesn't do anything, Y doesn't do anything. Um, the paddles move the menu in the bottom left corner. Who else are these people? A uh, Kickstarter backer. Thank you, Benjamin Gifford, for Kickstartering this game. It's awesome. And the Sultan of Coffee, thank you as well. Goodbye, wherever you're flying off to. Alright, let's go see the game. And my axe. Alright, let's see. Here we go. This is level one. So there's gold and bats. Kill the bat. Ah, snakes. Those are those rattlesnakes. Ouch. Awesome health. There's an apple. And some coin. You know, it's what dungeon crawlers are all about, really. Just wandering around and getting loot. So, what is this other thing I have? Oh, beer. I have no idea what that does. And an apple plus 5 HP. Yeah, it doesn't say what the beer does. Let's try it. <laughs> um, am I, I'm walk, I'm not controlling this at all, it's just moving on its own. So I think that's what beer does. <laughs> okay, I've got my controls back. Alright, got a coin, and let's go check out a door. I really like the blocks and the, you know, the pixel art thing can get old after a while, and, you know, just gaming in general, but this one does it really well with the lighting effects and the slight three-dimensional depth, but it's just level after level of craziness like this. Um, and apparently I triggered some stairs, but it is a permadeath game, so once you fail, <laughs> and you will eventually, um, unless, ah, there goes my, I gotta go trigger that again, um, you start over, and that is pretty crazy. But it's a really compelling setup for some reason. Uh, at least I found it so. To go back and try again and again and again. Here we go. Let's climb these stairs. Maybe. Oh, jump. Come on, jump. Jump. Why aren't you jumping? Maybe it was that beer I had earlier. There's nothing up here to get. Uh, the shadows are nice. It's just a really clean, fun game to play. There we go. Here we are. Ah, so... Here we go. Anybody see stairs down somewhere? Did I pass those? You're looking as you go in and out of these places for stairs that go down to another level. And once you find them, you go down to the next level. There they are. I walked right past them because of the trigger thing that went off. Here we go. Down we go. Level 2. See how far we can get before the timer goes off. Level 2, in the water. See, that's awesome, isn't it? It's just cool to look at. Can we blow up a block? I can. Oh, and apples. More apples. Apples are so good. Ah, okay. And flame. Oh, I turned on the fire. You can see better. There's some rooms that are pitch black. Uh, the loot is also apparently pretty randomly generated. Um, I've gotten duck hats and visors of feebleness and all kinds of crazy things. For a visor of feebleness, it actually was pretty awesome. It shot lasers. 
and light things up. But you will end up in these dark rooms. Oh, what is this down here? Oh, I think I got a hat. You end up checking. I did. A nimble fedora and goggles of protection, which I am now wearing. Aren't they lovely? Alright, sword time. I need my sword back. Come on. What happened? Did I step in something? Oh dear. I'm glowing and I can't change my inventory. <laughs> well, it doesn't say what the effect is. Plus, got plus 11 on my sword, which I don't have equipped. Maybe I'm just, like, invincible. Who knows? Let's go find an enemy and find out. It's moving kind of slow, I'm not sure why. Okay, here's an enemy. Let's find that out and then we'll call it good. Wow, is this a superpower? I am not invincible. I still... Oh well. Okay, I got my sword back. Yeah, so that's Legend of Dungeon. Thanks for watching. Bye.